there all my beautiful people perverts and fucking haters it's candy and you you have you have to speak up they can't hear you they can't give me your heart <laughs> of course you can't because she's fucking dead you never trust a big but the smile that girl is What's up everyone? It is Halloween, so I thought I would share a very um, weird, interesting, spooky ghost story with you guys that actually kind of happened to me pretty recently. So sometime last week, I don't remember the exact fucking day because as usual, my brain has been crazy. It's been a whirlwind of a fucking week, guys. I have been sick. I have had, to, it's just been crazy. I broke my nails three or four times, had to go back to the nail salon. It has been a crazy ass fucking week. So I can't remember exactly what night this was, but there was one night um, last week, within the last week, that I was laying here in bed and I was taking some pictures for Snapchat. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know that like I just take random pictures just really whenever. And I had gotten this new iPhone recently and in the dark, low light, it takes some amazing pictures. So I was just really kind of testing the, uh, the phone out, really. So as I'm testing the phone out, I go to take a picture in my mirror. I have a mirror on the other side of the room. Once again, if you follow me on Snapchat, you would see that. And after I took the picture, I went to zoom in because I was from this, uh, from this bed all the way across there. I go to zoom in because I'm naked in it. And I just wanted to make sure that like, I mean, not that you can zoom in on Snapchat, but I just wanted to like, I don't know, I wanted to look at me closer, right? So I zoom in and I just decide, you know what? You can kind of see my titty there a little bit. Not really, but like, I just wanted to like change, like cover. I just wanted to change, change up the scenario. You know what I mean, basically? So I go to take the second picture. And when I take the second picture, I notice that in the mirror, there is an object, okay? Now, I'm gonna post the picture here because that's the easiest way to show you guys. Now, there's definitely an object in the mirror. Now, if you go to the picture, the first picture I took, there's an object, but it's off to the side of the mirror, right? Now, the time I took these pictures are seconds apart. So if you look at the top, well, I'm gonna circle on the top. You'll see they are literally the same time. So it's within seconds apart. Didn't move anything around, nothing like that, okay? Now, in both of them, I'm gonna try to do some editing here so you can see this. In both of them, you can determine a very clear face. I know, I know, it's so fucking crazy. I literally, I can't explain it. Pete and I both have tried to explain it. We've tried to like see if there was something on the mirror. We've done all the investigative work. Neither of us believe in ghosts, okay? Neither of us are like ghost people. Now, there were things that happened to me as a kid. Maybe I'll share them at some point if this is something that maybe we want to like talk about or maybe kind of like maybe a, I could tell you a couple different stories and you guys could give me your intake, your, in, your inputs on them. But, um, I did have some things happen to me as a child, and I am an empath, I do feel that way, but I don't really necessarily believe in ghosts because I'm an atheist, and if you, you, you can't believe in like one and not the other kind of thing, or you can't, you know what I mean? So like, but I am not like completely closed off to believing in things, if that makes any sense. So I was really, really, really freaked out, and on top of that, guys, I have now, I have blood on me now from this. I guess I probably should have. And I wanted to film this like earlier, but then I thought, oh, Halloween night would be kind of be a cool night to kind of film because I hadn't filmed it yet. But I have been getting these random ass fucking scratches on me. I've been waking up with these random ass scratches. I have one here, one here. These are two different days these happened. And then up here, if you can kind of see up here, there's like two there. There's two on the back of this leg. And then there was a real big one I've been using um, some comfortable cream is what it's called to um, help these heal really fast. But there's a, there's a scratch that goes I wonder if I can, if I can get out of the frame. Um, there's a scratch that goes from here to here. I wonder if I can get closer. You probably can't see, but 
Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to see, but it's a pretty big scratch on there. And I've showed it to people, I've showed the pictures to people, I've showed the scratches to people, and some people are like, girl, you're fucking crazy and wild, but most people are like, get the fuck out of your house. Now, I won't lie to you, there is one room in my house that I do feel kinda weird in. I have since the day that I ever stepped foot in this house, and I've talked about it, Barry even says the same fucking shit. So, I don't know guys, what what do you think? Is, is there an explanation for those? Is like what what in the world could that be? Should I be fucking spooked out? Should I just leave it the fuck alone so that nothing happens? Should I stop thinking about it? Should I not try to speak about it? Like, what the fuck should I do in this situation? Or, you know, have I manifested something? Because we only use 8% of our brain, right? Roughly as humans. Like, there's like, that, that, that's how I've always, like, that's how I've always rationalized anything that I've seen in my life because I am, like, sensitive and I am an empath. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get this fucking shit off me. I'm gonna be colored for fucking a week, girl. And by colored, a bitch mint stained. Anyhow, that's all I have for you tonight, guys. Do you have any kind of crazy ass ghost stories? Do you believe in ghosts? Do you not believe in ghosts? Do you think that we manifest shit? Do you think that anything is possible? Uh, yeah, that's really, that's just, I just, I just, I'm just still creeped out by it and hope that I, uh, hope I don't have anything negative living in my space, you feel? As always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love most of you guys so, so much. And until next time, be a real ass bitch because nobody loves a fake ass motherfucking asshole. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Never trust a big